Welcome back to Hannity. So on this program, we have been calling for a special counsel to investigate Hillary Clinton and numerous scandals. And now the Washington Times is reporting, quote, Clinton email case far from closure as the FBI hands over more classified documents to state. And tonight, the American Center for Law and Justice is reporting that the FBI is reopening its FOIA request into the Clinton Lynch tarmac meeting and much more. Here with reaction. One of the president's attorneys, chief counsel, American Center for Law and Justice, Jay Sekulow, Fox News, anchor attorney, Greg Jarrett. You broke this with, you were lied to by the FBI originally on your four-year request. They said no such documents that exist. There, in fact, right. was a back and forth between the FBI and the Justice Department, some, what, 481 pages. They actually put talking points together and they're not supposed to be political. And they never sent you the talking points. They just put a black page up. Where are we now? So, but yeah, well, let me tell you what's happened. So, you know, we put in the request about the, and it says on the letter, the uh, meeting between Attorney General Loretta Lynch and former President Bill Clinton. And the FBI came back with an initial letter saying there are no documents uh, that we have pursuant to your request. They, those documents don't exist. We then did the same request to the uh, Department of Justice. They didn't respond at all, so we went to federal court got a court order demanding a release of the documents, and lo and behold, when we get those documents uh, two weeks ago, in it are documents between the FBI and the Department of Justice and vice versa, and of course the FBI was saying we had no such documents. So we obviously, uh, we raised it right here on your broadcast. We raised it uh, with the lawyers at, at, at the various departments, including the Department of Justice, and a really unprecedented move, and by the way, in those email exchanges, one of the email exchanges actually involved not just somebody in the FBI, but the chief of staff to James Comey receiving, quote, information on talking points on how to handle the uh, Clinton-Lynch uh, meeting that took place in Arizona. But, Sean, we put a lot of pressure on the FBI to, to do what's right here since we got the documentation. But you are lying we to it. You don't have the talking points, so the DOJ and FBI should never. Yeah. What, what are you holding up? I can't see it. Well, I'm holding in here a letter from the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation that says they've reopened the FOIA request and are now going through the documents to give us the documents that are relevant to our inquiry. And as it relates to the so-called talking points, uh, this was in crisis management mode for the Department of Justice with Loretta Lynch uh, the entire time. By the way, James Comey made a big deal about that when he came out about Hillary Clinton in July of last year, saying, and when he testified earlier this year, he said, oh, it was that interchange at the, at the tarmac that got me so concerned. Well, his chief of staff knew about it within hours after it happened. So yeah. that's number one. He didn't bother, by the way, to go back over to the Department of Justice and say, hey, this this may be a violation of existing law statutes. He didn't bother to do that. So right. I just want to be on the Greg. record on that. But, but number two, and this is important, Sean, the FBI has now reopened it, but you're right. They redacted not one page email, three. a three page email with the talking points. Well, and the redaction, by the way, they claimed a particular privilege. I looked it up the deliberations privilege. It doesn't apply to this case. No. Talking points don't constitute a deliberative movement. Um, and so the privilege that they're citing on the redaction is absurd. It, it's also absurd that there were never, as James Comey said, any documents. He signed a, a letter saying, under penalty of perjury, there are no documents relating to the tarmac meeting. Now we know there are hundreds of them. So there are three possibilities here. Either Comey lied or he didn't understand the request. His, his general counsel and chief of staff got the request. So is, is, I, right. I, it's kind of hard for me to believe they did, he didn't know. Either they what? lost Impossible. the documents and they've suddenly been found, or they lied that they, when they said there were no documents, or they didn't well, understand the request. But the request, by the way, I is standard boilerplate that every lawyer is familiar with, hand over all documents, pertaining to the tarmac meeting that's everything but there, there's something okay. else there's something else here sean really quick and that is the letter uh from the fbi denying uh that there was any information relevant to us was signed by the same section chief for the record information dissemination unit who the same one that signed it a year late it was a year almost a year ago exactly when they said there was nothing signed by the same guy who came back and now has said whoops we're going to go back and check right. because obviously they know we got those documents on a scale of one to ten how big is this jay i think this is very significant so i give it a ten and i'll tell you why there is something just think about what took place on that tarmac that is not the way equal justice under that's what we, that's been the theme of this that right. is not the way equal justice under the law that's is supposed been my to point work. for forever and i agree with you guys good to see you both will stay on all these issues a lot of news every night when we come back